I think this program is important to the Caribbean. And here especially, we had 11 participants, and it's really looking for future instructors. But of course, they have to go through a process to become an instructor. Not just having the background of coaching, that's only the start. There are so many other areas that's important for us. Leadership, management, um, teaching and understanding, and planning and preparation. So they did go through a full routine of these areas, and then we'll have a mentorship to them. And in that mentorship, they'll be able to um, continue actually do some self-assessment, um, have an opportunity to practice, and then we will support them through it until they become possible CONCACAF instructors. This is a start. What we are doing is we are really planting a seed. And hopefully these coaches will grow. They'll be able to share information with their fellow coaches. And it also brings a commonality from country to country. So it's not just being done here, it's being across the Caribbean. And because of it, it's going to be easy to assess where each country is at. But um, it's a start. It's 68 possible coaches that we've done so far across the Caribbean. And hopefully it will benefit places like Grenada, Trinidad, St. Kitts, St. Vincent. Well, of course, to increase the level of the game, you have to increase the level of the person that presents the game to you. Hence the reason we are hoping to be able to, in eight years' time, see a difference. Because we are dealing with younger kids here and the target age group will be younger kids. So if you deal with the target of U12, a kid is going to be 11. So it's going to take eight to ten years to develop a player. So hopefully we will see um, bear fruit in eight to ten years. But as I said, this is the start. And a Grenada in 2026 should be... Uh, a better off Grenada. My own assessment, I, I find it was very knowledgeable, but it could be a bit longer because children um, learning span is, you know, you could have a, a two session, have them have lunch or have a break and then start over. Well, the program, i got to say thank you to the Grenada FA, uh, CONCACAF, uh, for giving me this opportunity. I think it's a, a huge step forward in the direction that we need to go with um, coaching our coaches um, to get our young players uh, up to the level so we can start competing in it throughout the world. I really think it starts with the instructors that we had today um, and throughout this course. They are one of... Pretty much all of them are my mentors and we look up to them and they found the common thread throughout the Caribbean and our weaknesses and our strengths and we want to um, work on our weaknesses. So if we can bring our weaknesses up in our countries um, and deliver it to our countries, we can start to get the level up higher and it comes to these courses to really get us some education and get us some um, knowledge uh, to actually lead our coaches in the right direction. Uh, I think it was it was a fantastic program. Um, it's a big difference in terms of you know being a coach and making a transition to being a trainer of a coach who would you know assess what a coach should be doing. Um, it's a it's a it's a role change, but the course actually prepared us you know for what is to come, and it's a, it's the good thing about this course is that it, it's a process. So we don't just finish after this weekend activities, the three days. It is a continuous process before we are actually licensed as, as, as trainers. It will go a far way in helping back home. Um, we had to do you know, practice sessions in terms of um, delivering a presentation in a classroom setting as well as a practical setting on the field, you know, playing different roles as coaches, as um, instructors or trainers and also as assessors, um, which is the actual role. Well, our actual role will be, will be trainers, but we got the perspective of almost every person who will be involved in the coaching process after we leave. So that will help us a long way when we go back home to, you know, help our coaches to develop themselves. Four, we'll be spending, right?
Remember, you all have two balls to defend. Well, I think for the past three days, I've learned a lot. I think the program is a very important program if you want to develop the football within our country and also in the region, the CONCACAF region. I think what the, what the, um, the instructor does, they have fed us with plenty of information and, and I'm very happy that they are doing it. My general assessment on the, the program I think is, is very educating and this is what we need for our country because most of our coaches think that we know and not forgetting the science and the philosophy and everything towards coaching. And being an instructor will help coaches or help educate coaches. And we can have a proper um, training program and help develop the youth in a better way. So it was a good program and I wish we could have more days because we still need more information. I want to take it step by step. So I retire from international football. My main focus now is, is coaching, helping develop youth players, and, and then maybe later on in life, we like to be an instructor with my knowledge from coaching. To an instructor will help coaches, um, help, I will help, we'll be able to improve coaches because leaving out coaching and moving to an instructor, you will need the knowledge of a coach to be an instructor because you can instruct a coach if you don't have the knowledge of coaching. And that's why I'm, look, I'm looking to better myself in coaching and I may later on be an instructor. Now, give yourself to Pagan! Pagan!